so on the policy side, I think this is the important point I'd like to make here is that our democracies work through place-based electoral systems. And many universities now recognize the need to demonstrate that they are serving the needs of their local community. And I think uh, Shiri's picked this up. Uh, and meeting also the global challenges of the sustainable development goals. And many of these are doing this by joining this worldwide civic university movement. And this, you asked me about civic universities, and I don't think being a civic university does not involve abandoning entrepreneurial behavior, but rather embedding this in all aspects of both teaching as well as research, and in the ways that universities work with a wide range of actors and agencies in civil society by developing, for example, students as entrepreneurs and channels of two-way knowledge exchange with business and the community through work-based learning, developing the region as a living laboratory, experimenting with monitoring the outcomes of collaborative projects. You experiment, you evaluate, you learn. Um, embedding civic responsibility and the SDG challenges into the curriculum in all disciplines, not just some disciplines, all disciplines and using the universities, using their convening power to bring together different local stakeholders and challenge what are essentially place-based. Many higher education policies are place-based. Many of the other funding streams we get money from are place-based. And this is not gonna be an easy task, and that's why it's a long journey. There are long established mechanisms for re rewarding research, and its impact based on citations in discipline-based peer-reviewed academic journals. The dominant linear model connecting research to innovation and a failure to recognize, and I had a quote here from a very, very good um, European Commission report on innovation, and I'll quote, it, quote here, our innovation economy is not a Roman aqueduct, but a muddy pond. It requires all actors, corporate, academic, civic, civil society in places and political. Another barrier is the absence of absorptive capacity in sometimes institutionally thin regions and barriers between universities and other tertiary education providers that's needed between all the different stages in education to build a diverse skill base and a focus in both universities and regions tends to be on transactional relationships and what's needed is transformational relationships and that's where I think Ecole can play a role. So that's enough and our final point was about Ecole but I'll leave that to you 